In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. This mass is offered for the souls of Salvador Leo. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heed the contrite of hearts, Lord have mercy. You came to God sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. First of all, on us we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right, and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. On the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord of the you answer Praise and honor to you. Praise and honor to you. Praise and honor. Create for me, O God, 
Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise and honor to you. Praise and honor to you. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. Push one of you put and his son is stone when he asks for a loaf of bread, or the snake when he asks for a fish. If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give good things to those who ask Him? Do to others whatever you would have done them to do you. This is the Law and the Prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the past reading tells us the prayer of Esther as she and her fellow Jews faced extermination at the hands of a king. She prayed, Help me. Who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God? We have helped me a couple of times in our prayer. She could not imagine how God can say then because the matter is very great. Everyone there, every Jew are in danger, life threatening. They're going to be exterminated here by the order of king. It is a very big problem and she did not know how to overcome it. But her prayer expressed confidence and trust. God will help her in the ways that she could not imagine. This is the lesson the past reading teaches us. In our life also, or as a society, as a family, or as a country, we may have such situations like threatening oppression or any family problems we don't know how to solve. But God invites us to pray with confidence and trust in Him. If we persevere in our prayer, He will bring justice and peace to the countries, to our families, and to those who are in need of His help. Today's Gospel, Jesus teaches us the same. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. While he was teaching about the prayer, he did not teach us how many hours, how many times shall we pray it during the day. He did not teach us. But he emphasized on the trust and confidence. That's why he told Sister Faustina to say, Jesus, I trust in you. Trust is very important in the prayer. When we truly pray, we ourselves are transformed because God gave us what is best for us. He wants us always to be happy and peaceful and really reach heaven to get salvation. Whatever is necessary for our salvation, He will do it. But whatever is harmful to us, even if we ask, he will not give. So we pray, Thy will be done, as Jesus teaches us and our Father. If we truly pray, we are transformed. We are called to be closest to God. So St. Ephesus Allegory emphasized on the importance of prayer in our life. He said, when you ask me about what is needed for overcoming the temptations. If you ask me a thousand times, I will answer you the same. You need prayer to overcome temptations. 
because prayer is essential for our inner strength. It brings us closer to God. Every morning we come to the church, the highest form of prayer the mass. With confidence and trust, we pray for the need of the world and ourselves. God has given us with a surpassing mercy, with unmerited love and undeserved salvation. We ask God to continue to bestow this kindness upon us. That the church may not shy away from the challenge and mission to free people from every form of injustice, we pray to the Lord. Let civil leaders be renewed in their work for lasting peace, freedom, and justice for all people, we pray to the Lord. That all who work in ministry or feeling make the presence of God tangible for the sick and dying and the discouraged and lonely, we pray to the Lord. That our little journey help us to be courageous in the face of the crosses of our lives and by grace pass through them to peace and glory, we pray to the Lord. That all who have suffered and died, especially Salvador Lier, for whom this man is being offered, may come to share the joy of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. We pause for a moment in silence for our special intention. We pray to the Lord. O oh, loving God, when our eyes are open and he, we see your kindness to us and exalt in joy. Hear our prayers and the hopes of all who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Son, you offer all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through all the earth and walk our human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Passing war, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. 
and so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy God, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are for your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the crown of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in there, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter into my room. I only say the word and my soul shall be with you. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries, 
to be the safeguard of our salvation. So you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in time to come. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you. And may the riches of heaven be given them, that they may know what is right to us and receive what they have sought. Through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Amen. Say, Michael, do you have